Hi and welcome again to TV and Hi-Fi Pro. In this new video, we're going to show you the LG SPD7Y soundbar that we had the chance to test in depth and that offers very interesting features. This soundbar stands out for its Dolby Atmos support and the two upward firing speakers located on the top of the soundbar that project the sound to the top in order to bound the sound off the ceiling and back down towards you to create the illusion of height. Before we see its sound performance, let's take a quick look at the design and connectivity of this LG SPD-7Y. The look of this bar continues the line of LG models from the past few years that is practically identical to the previous SN7Y. The dimensions of the bar are 89 centimeters width and 6.5 centimeters height and has a good finish and it looks a sturdy and robust bar. On the front, the speakers are covered by a metal grill, and behind this grill, there is a display that shows all the information. The buttons control the bar's functions are located on the top and are tactile. You can either mount it on the table under the TV or on the wall with the included wall mount. The subwoofer is wireless, so you can place it wherever you want, and the connection to the main unit is automatically established when you connect the two devices. If the connection is ever interrupted, there's a small reset button on the back of the subwoofer. The remote control style has been redesigned to resemble that of this year's TVs. You can use this remote to make advanced EQ settings and to choose among different sound modes, as we will see later. There isn't any audio cable included to connect to the TV, so you'll have to buy one if you don't have it. On the back, it includes an HDMI input and an HDMI output, an optical audio input, as well as a USB port for playing music. The HDMI ports are rated as 2.1, but cannot pass a 4K video signal at 120Hz from a game console or player. It can pass it through, but only up to a frequency of 60Hz. However, it is able to pass 4K signal in HDR Dolby Vision with a 444 chromonauts sub-sampling in Dolby Atmos without compression, because it is equipped with HDMI eARC. If you have a TV with HDMI 2.1 and VRR support, and on the latest PS5 or Xbox Series X, you should connect the game console directly to your TV instead of routing the video signal through the sound bar. The HDMI input is useful for connecting a media player or Blu-ray player if your TV doesn't decode Dolby Atmos or DTS, so the sound bar can. Bluetooth is included so you can stream music from your phone or connect to your TV. However, to get the best quality and enjoy Dolby Atmos, we recommend connecting the sound bar to the TV via HDMI. Now it's time to see the sound quality of the LG SPD-7Y, which, as in previous years, was created in collaboration with Meridian Audio, a British company specializing in hi-fi systems. The 312 channel speaker system consists of two front speakers, a center speaker, the wireless subwoofer, and the two speakers on the top of the bar. With the SPK8 rear speaker kit that is made up for two speakers on a small amplifier that is wirelessly connected to the main unit, you can build a true 5.1 system. This way, you don't have to run cables from the bar to the speakers, avoiding to run them across the room. The LG SPD7Y soundbar has an output power of 380 watts and is the most affordable model in the 2021 range, which supports Dolby Atmos. Thanks to this compatibility, you can get a more realistic sound as the audio is reproduced both horizontally and vertically, and you can hear sounds above your head. There aren't many movies or series in Dolby Atmos yet, but if you have a premium subscription to Netflix, Disney+, Plus, or Amazon Prime Video, you can already enjoy certain content in Dolby Atmos. And if you have the Xbox Series X console or a compatible Blu-ray player, you can also enjoy even better sound because the audio won't be compressed. There are Dolby Atmos compatible soundbars that don't have built-in upward firing speakers, such as the Sony HTG700 or the second generation Sonos Beam, which simulate Dolby Atmos sound via software. However, the sensation is usually better with physical speakers, and this SPD7Y is no exception. With the two speakers projecting sound to the ceiling, you're going to hear the effects and sounds from above your head as well, which is going to make you feel even more immersed in the scene. However, depending on the size of the room, the effect is more or less pronounced, as this feeling is somewhat lost in rooms with a ceiling height of more than 4 meters. In these cases, you would need to put physical speakers on the ceiling if you want the best experience. In our case, we heard this LG SPD7Y in a small living room, and we noticed a big difference from traditional Dolby formats, and the feeling we had was much more intense, especially with action and science fiction movies, where there were a lot of special effects. To listen to Dolby Atmos audio, you'll need to make sure your TV's audio output settings are set correctly. 
First of all, you need to connect the soundbar to the TV's ARC connection via HDMI, not optical. You also need to make sure the cable is also ARC compatible, otherwise you won't be able to hear sound. Then in the settings, you have to choose the option to send audio through HDMI and select automatic in the digital audio output option. In the factory configuration, the SPD7Y emphasizes the low frequencies a lot and the highs sound a bit muffled. The good news is that you can balance the bass, mids, treble, and subwoofer. There are several audio modes you can choose. However, we recommend you to select the standard or AI Sound Pro mode as they are the most accurate. And then adjust the bass and treble. Besides, you have the option to adjust the center and upward firing speaker to your personal taste. And although this bar doesn't come with rear speakers, as you can be added separately, the option to adjust the rear speakers is already prepared. With collaboration, the LG SPD7Y delivers a good stereo frequency response and pretty neutral and balancing sound profile. In the description, we leave you our personal settings in order to obtain the best sound. The dynamic range of LG SPD7Y is quite high, and there isn't much compression at maximum volume, so sound reproduction is clear. Another advantage is that you can listen to high-resolution music at up to 24-bit and 96 kilohertz via USB, or with a premium account on music streaming apps like Koho Buzz or Tidal. While it's completely different as hearing it in person, we leave you with a brief sound test so that you can have a slight idea of its sound quality. In short, the LG SBD7Y soundbar is an excellent product to enjoy immersive sound at home without spending a lot of money. With factory presets, it has a boomy, bass-heavy sound profile, but with collaboration, you can enjoy a more neutral sound and a well-defined audio with clear dialogues. Powerful bass and a good Dolby Atmos experience in small and medium-sized rooms. Besides, you can add the rear speaker kit to get a true 5.1 system. If your budget is high and you want to hear it in a large room, you can consider buying the SP11RA model with 7.1.4 channel system, which already includes fully wireless rear speakers with ceiling facing drivers and Wi-Fi with built-in Chromecast and Google Assistant. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable the notification bell to support us and help us to bring you more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.